John here guys and today we're talking about the Catalyst Machine Works Massive Droner HD 3 inch version. Mr. Burgundy, you have a massive erection. Really? The one that is made a match made in heaven with the Cadex Vista. But wait a second, John. Didn't you already review this? Well, no, I actually took the two and a half inch version of the Massive Droner that was not meant to hold a Vista and I crammed a Vista unit into it. This actually made for an exceptionally fun two and a half inch park flyer. But I kept wondering how much greater would this same formula be with an extra bit of prop, a three inch prop, particularly my favorite three inch prop, the HQ three by two and a half pitch. This is such a great mid-level range pitch prop. It is punchy enough, but light enough, but efficient enough. It's not too high, it's not too low. This is really my favorite three inch prop, probably of all time with the T-mount. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and build this up, give myself plenty of room. This can fit a full 20 by 20 in there, but I went ahead and used one of these toothpick boards with a 3D printed adapter that I made for it. Uh, which gave me even more room. You see the Vista goes installed on top, hanging down. So the stack, it looks like it's a four layer stack, but it's actually not. It's two layers on the bottom, or in my case, one layer. And it is <laughs> two layers on the top, hanging down. So they're totally suspended on different pieces of the frame. I love that. The ingenuity of this, you undo these two screws right here and you can pop the top and totally service your entire build i love that of course you have the braces uh like always now i went ahead and used used the diatone toothpick board on here and of course a crossfire receiver on there i actually zip tied this to the bottom of this right here um, so i got the full immortal t on this I went ahead, there is kind of a solution where they mount this um, Vista antenna coming straight out the back with a 3D printed piece, but I decided just to mount it to the edge of this. That gives you a straight up and down orientation, saves you a couple of grams, and it's one less thing to install. Works totally fine. Motors on this, I went with um, kind of a smaller size here, guys. I wanted to try a lighter weight formula for this because um, all, all in all, component-wise, this can be very similar to the Banga 3-inch. And since that was sort of a heavier, beefier um, freestyle build that I did with 1408 Emax motors, I wanted to go a little bit smaller and nimble for this build. So I went with the RC Power 1207 motor. Now, I went with this one on the very high 6000 kV. To either run this on 3s packs or to run it on 4s packs with a throttle cut it doesn't have as much straight line punch as i would like uh, a lot of times especially uh circa 2018 or so the diatone uh, gtr 349 really spoiled us three inch quads that were capable of going well over 100 miles an hour um this is not that this is not that it does not go nearly as fast as that but one thing that i did notice that i did actually really like that was unexpected was this formula 4s batteries on this 3s um, motor with a little bit of a throttle cut i think i was running like 88 percent throttle cut allowed me such control my goodness i could thread almost any size gap with this thing the it's almost like if you've ever taken a race quad like a 6s race quad and just for grins you threw a 4s battery on it it kind of slows everything down everything's going on slow motion so it's just so easy to navigate everything that's what it felt like uh my moves were so crisp so precise a lot of times these little things um they fly in a different manner they don't have quite the float but they have a tremendous amount of straight line speed that makes it almost a little bit difficult to control in some scenarios that eliminated all of this um, so I really did enjoy this formula but at the end of the day I kind of wanted a bit more power back to the drawing board so what I'm probably gonna do is swap these motors onto a tadpole three inch build I'm gonna work on 
And then what I'm gonna do is look for another motor replacement for this. Um, I really, really like the 1408 Emacs, but I've already done that before. So if you know something that's around a 1408, 1507, something around that range that I can throw on here that's gonna be a little bit new, a little bit different, drop me in the comments below what you think I should do. If you want something that is not all about super speed, saves a little bit of weight, and has a tremendous amount of control, the flight times are not super long. Flight time on this setup, even though the motors are small, it's a super high KV, so it's only about three minutes. Um, and if you're really punching on it, it might even be a little bit less. So I think I'm gonna go with the bigger motor, try to get a little more efficiency and see what happens. Check out the footage of this thing. This was an awesome combination on a race course. Sometimes these little three inch will just blow around. This one had a perfect amount of control to go in here. You always get the speed with a three inch, but sometimes it's hard to make those precise moves if you have too much power. This one was so controllable. I really like it. Thanks guys.